our T-shirts started here, or near here anyway, on a cotton farm in the Mississippi Delta. America, it turns out, exports more cotton than any other country in the world. For about a century, America maintained its cotton dominance by using slave labor. Today, it does so using technology. This is a John Deere app, and it shows where the pickers and tractors are. We can go into the screen on a picker and see what the picker driver is actually seeing on his screen. I'm sure it's, it's picking, picking the cat off the snow. So we're driving south? Yeah. Bowen Flowers is a third-generation Mississippi cotton farmer. Even the seeds he uses are a feat of engineering to rival the iPhone. Most American cotton seeds are made in a lab, like this one and the Monsanto Corporation. Genes from bacteria are added to the cotton to make it more pest-resistant and tolerant of herbicides. There's a debate over the safety of genetically modified crops for American cotton farmers, though, it's mainly been settled. 20 years ago, there was no GM cotton. Today, over 90% of American cotton is genetically modified. And all this technology, the machines that automatically bale the cotton, the specially designed trucks to haul those bales away, the high-speed gins that remove those lab-designed seeds, all this technology has an impact. Since the 1950s, cotton yields have almost tripled. You've been harvesting all this cotton. How many t-shirts did you make? Oh gosh, I, I, it's, it's, it's no tell. Do y'all happen to know that, that answer, how many it is? We didn't know, but we went back and looked it up. The answer, from just this one farm, in just one year, there's enough cotton for nine million t-shirts. That's a t-shirt for every single person in New York City. 